What's up, YouTube? I'm Mr. No Name, or Max as people know in the real world, and today I'm bringing you guys a competitive 3v3 SD gameplay on the map Octane. So I hope you guys enjoy that in the background. Basically, today's video is going to be on how to effectively communicate. This is with teammates, with your parents, with co workers, with whatever. Uh, some of these tips can only really be used, of course, if you're face to face, but some of it can be over the phone or over the mic. Um, and this is kind of just coming from me because I know that I mentioned in my last video communicating with your parents and if there's one thing I learned as a teenager is that teenagers don't know how to communicate effectively with their parents and sometimes the parents don't know how to communicate either so I thought I'd give you guys some tips on it um, and you know just take what you want um, if this isn't for you then you don't have to watch but you know hopefully it'll help so first thing is um, you need to be honest when you're talking. Um, you need to honestly portray your feelings and everything. Uh, you may have to sugarcoat a few things. You know, if you're feeling really angry towards somebody, you shouldn't just sit there and be honest as in cussing them out or anything. Just be like, I'm mad at you because of this. Um, also, you need to be willing to listen to the other person. What they have to say is of just as much value as what you have to say if you don't show that level of respect. They will be put on the defensive and they may turn it around and become aggressive. So that's not something you want. Also, don't play the blame game. Um, it doesn't ever work out. Don't assign blame to people. Um, that again puts them on the defensive and it never works out. It makes people shut down. So don't do that. Uh, next thing is to try and keep a neutral environment. So for example, if you are still living with your parents, um, you know, just somewhere in the house could be a neutral environment if you've moved out. Maybe go to a restaurant if it's with your parents, um, with a co-worker or your boss or something. Again, dinner somewhere or lunch or whatever could be a good place to go. Uh, just trying to keep it as neutral as possible. Also, your tone needs to be fairly neutral. You don't want to get loud and aggressive because that will, again, put them on the defensive and it will make them shut down which is not something you want when trying to communicate and resolve issues. Um, next thing is learning how to be non-confrontational. And there's a few things about this. The main point here is to try and not put them on the, on the defensive. So as I've said before, don't play the blame game. Um, try and keep your tone neutral, things like that. Also, another thing you can do, uh, this is something I, I picked up, um, is that you can... Like, let's say, for example, you are in your house and you're, you know, sitting somewhere. You can try and angle some of the furniture and whatnot. Like, let's say you're sitting in two chairs. Angle the furniture a little bit where nobody's directly in front of another person. Um, that makes it slightly less confrontational and it can make it a little bit more open. That's just something I pick up, picked up as a psychology tip if you want to use that. Um, another thing is to give concessions. Um, when you're arguing and things like that, you need to be willing to concede certain arguments or certain points. Um, again, it's going to be a give and take sort of thing uh, on whatever the issue is. Another thing is to try and put yourself in the other person's shoes. I know this is another thing that people have a hard time with sometimes. Is they're, You're thinking about yourself, you're thinking about your problems, and you aren't thinking about what motivates the other person, what are they thinking about. Um, did they just recently break up with somebody? Are they having trouble at work, at school, etc., etc., things like that? And so you can try and figure the other person out and tailor your arguments or your viewpoints so that you can be sympathetic to them and make them more likely to listen to you. Also, uh, picking the right time to talk. This is something that teenagers especially can mess up on is they will try and pick an argument or pick a fight or whatever at the wrong time when somebody's really stressed out or trying to go to sleep or something you know you want to pick a nice moment where everybody's doing all right everybody's kind of happy and you can just you have some time to sit down and talk about whatever issues are going on also you need to try and reach solutions for whatever the issue are that are agreeable to both parties um you know you want to you don't want it to be too one-sided it needs to be something that both parties are happy with and the last thing that I'm really going to talk about here is just nonverbal cues that people give off. And it can take a while to learn them, of course. Uh, we, we naturally kind of pick up on nonverbal cues, even if you don't recognize that you're doing it. 
you can always do more research on this if you want to get really, really good at it. But some basic ones to look for are um, folded arms, which means it's more like that they are uh, closed off on the defensive, sort of, and it could turn into aggression at some point. Um, clenched fist is obviously anger, especially if it's just real brief and then it goes away. Um, there's things like the eye contact, uh, where they're looking, are they shying away from you, do they have their back turned? Things like that can let you know how much they're paying attention and what their mood sort of is at the moment. And, yeah, I mean, that's that's pretty much everything, guys. I, I'm no expert on communication, obviously. I am only 18. Um, I am just trying to give you, I was just trying to give you guys tips on my own experiences with um, arguments with my parents and how I sort of learned to get better with that. So hopefully you guys can take something from it. As you guys can see, we're coming to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, then please leave a like, comment, and or subscribe. If you didn't, then let me know what I can do better next time. Constructive criticism goes a long way, guys. Until next time, everybody, peace out.